What's causing retail closures, the economy or Wall Street? An interview with Garrick Brown, the retail wizard. Interviewed at ICSC Recon 2016. This show is brought to you by The Broker List, the CRE community's first free online platform for finding brokers, deals, services, and vendors. And Quantum Listing is the new mobile crowdsourced real estate listing app for commercial real estate agents, owners, and tenants. He's my go-to retail guy. I'm a groupie of his, and I've wanted to meet him for the longest time. And there aren't a lot of people that I'm a groupie for, but I read his work whenever it comes out. Well, thanks. A uh, mutual fan, and I can't believe it's been five or six years. It's the first time we get to meet in person, finally. So I need you to get it's a awesome. Close. Where'd you get your bow tie, by the way? Uh, bow Ties Limited. It's a catalog out of Vermont. Yeah, Vermont Bow Tie Company. Yeah, That's yeah. where I got mine. <laughs> yeah, we're bow tie guys. <laughs> we're b- b- we're bow bros, spelled B E A U. Okay, let's talk retail. Yes. Tell us what's going on. We were just talking about things. So you, a, a bunch of retailers just called you, I understand? Yeah. You know, this is probably, this actual show today and tomorrow is probably the most important ICSC in a we decade. We get a little bit closer. We have um, to get very close. Yes. So we, we have this interesting thing. And in coming into this year, we knew that um, e-commerce right-sizing, closures, you know, retailers like Macy's who eventually want to have 30% of their sales be online. They've been boosting their omni-channel capabilities, their distribution chain, but they got to close locations. We knew going into this year this was going to be the case. I happen to believe that this year as news broke and we had a few bankruptcies that also happened, that it, this evolved into its own little bad news cycle. And this started to influence Wall Street. So suddenly, about two months ago, we started to see a slew of very powerful analysts come out with these scathing reports about essentially how retailers were not going through their right sizing more quickly enough. So suddenly, there's immense pressure on Wall Street for all these retailers to ramp up their closures, regardless of the consequences. Uh, Most of these retailers already were in the process of trying to close 20, 30% 20, 30% of locations, but they want to do it smartly and strategically. When leases expire at class B, class C weak locations, well, now suddenly stocks are starting to tank and retailers have to move quickly. And so we're going to see a slew of more closures coming. And the added wrinkle to this is that Over the past few weeks, I've been hearing from one retailer after the next, mid-price retailers, a lot of them, the ones that are going through the the pressures that you read about in the media, the challenges, who are telling me that as they deal with the landlords of Class A malls on renewals, they are not only facing aggressive rate increases, but are basically being told, in some cases, we're going to double your rent, we're going to triple your rent, and the mindset they believe is that the class a landlords figure that they're the only way these chains are going to survive is to keep their class a holdings which may or may not be true the challenge is if you're abercrombie or the gap or victoria's secret and you want that class a location to remain open but you now are paying double the rent it might not be worth it to you And a lot of these chains are talking about walking away from class A locations now because after all, they're under pressure to close stuff and close it quickly. We might see some very strange things happening in the marketplace. And right now, in the booths around us, these things are being negotiated as we speak. Howard F. Klein, attorney focusing on commercial real estate leasing when experience counts. This show is brought to you by the broker list the cre community's first free online platform for finding brokers deals services and vendors and quantum listing is the new mobile crowdsourced real estate listing app for commercial real estate agents owners and tenants